Well, good morning, friends, and welcome to each and every one of you in Christ's name. This is a glorious day uh, at St. Paul because the church guys, the jazz guys, are back from Chicago, and we're so grateful. This is now their 18th year with us. They don't look a day older, right, Bobby? <laughs> Not a day. <laughs> How many of you ran in the Bix yesterday or walked in the Bix? Raise your hand. Wonderful. This is a great place to bring your sore body and uh, stand to keep it moving when we stand, sit when we sit to relax. Wherever you come from, make yourselves at home here this morning, friends. If you don't have a church home, I'd invite you to explore the uh, congregation of St. Paul. We try to be about really important things in this world, ask deep questions wrestle with really important subject matters that have to do with justice and injustice in our world. And if you want to be a part of that journey, come and explore uh, who we are. The bookstore is open today as our coffee and refreshments all over the main floor. Just make yourselves at home. I do want us to recall for our prayers today uh, two precious saints of this congregation whom we have now commended to God, uh, individuals who have died in the last week and whose funerals have already been conducted. Nancy Hoovelman and Eliza Meyer. And we give thanks for their families and the devotion of these two women to the, the life and the ministry of St. Paul over so many, many years. Uh, for the service today itself, uh, I want to invite all of you uh, to the Lord's Supper. This is the sacrament of our Lord Jesus. It is not the St. Paul's Supper. And so we print a couple of invitations for you. You are all welcome to receive this gift of God or a blessing, if you prefer that, just cross your arms upon your chest when you come forward to one of the stations. If you would, open your hands wide to receive the bread wafer, the body of Christ. You may touch that lightly to the wine of the chalice before you eat of it. Um, but bring whoever you are uh, by faith to receive the gracious presence of our Lord. If you would, we'll hold the applause until the end of worship when we'll let it roar for the Lord. Almighty, I want to call on Andy Texan, if you would, to grab Daniel's microphone. And Andy's sort of the engineer of this whole operation, and we're just grateful for his leadership. Please introduce the day, Andy, if you would. Good morning. This is the day the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, we are so thrilled to be here. We feel like you make us part of your family and the incredible mission and work that St. Paul's does is an inspiration to all of us. Just one special thing I'd like to, to bring up to your attention. Uh, today we're going to do a piece that uh, is called The Treasure of Jesus. Pastor Marty suggested that we uh, use that piece uh, to lift up this incredible gift of Christ's love and mercy for us. And so in this group, there's this amazing alchemy. So I called Bobby Schiff and I said, Bobby, there's this song you've never heard it before. Could you please arrange it? So, like in 24 hours, he emailed me the arrangement. And then we get together last night, and, you know, Daniel Riley, our incredible singer, he's sitting around with Bobby and Jerry Coleman, our percussionist, and he's sitting there, and, and they're, like, playing through it, getting the feel. Then this morning, we're rewriting the charts because the horn players are crabby, and they're saying, oh, I, I don't know. I don't think that syncopation is going to work there. So I just think you just want to, you want to know it's like the Holy Spirit. You don't know where it's coming from or where it's going, but it's a beautiful thing. So thank you very much, and we're, we're privileged to be here. <laughs> 